have actually given us is the power of sharing the cup. Everybody say sharing the cup. If you cannot sit on the right and the left, what can you do? If you cannot have the crown of glory, what can you have? The cup has become a traditional symbol of victory and blessing. Amen? We have the World Cup coming. We have the Africa Cup of Nations. We have Copa America. We have Euro Cup. And who knows, next year we will have Radio Maria Cup. Brothers and sisters, in Matthew chapter 20, verse 20 to 28, Jesus was telling his sons of Zebedee, James, and John that sharing the cup is the only thing he can give them. Because sitting at the left and the right, as the stubborn mother was asking, will be for the father to assign. And we are happy with that. Today I'm going to make my sermon short but very clear. We shall all share the cup, but I don't know which cup would you like to share. There are three cups in the Bible that are mentioned. Number one, everybody say the cup of salvation. The cup of salvation. Number two, everybody say the cup of blessing. The cup of blessing. Number three, everybody say the cup of suffering. The cup of suffering. In Psalm 116 verse 13, it says, I will lift up the cup of salvation and I will call upon the name of the Lord. We are praying today that if Jesus is ever to share the cup, it has to be the cup of salvation for you and for me. Amen? Amen. And he can save us from so many things. Saving us from sins, saving us from poverty, saving us from sicknesses. And I tell you, those especially who are listening to me right now, 143.7 is the right channel because today we offer you the cup of salvation and redemption from the very, very power and the hands of our Lord and Savior. Give him a big hand, Jesus <laughs> We need the cup of salvation, especially for the conversion of those who are far away from God. And Jesus is willing, without any permission from the Father, he said, I can give this cup anytime. Drink it with me, so that the salvation can start coming into your life. Number two, in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 6, Paul said, the cup of blessing which we bless is our communion with the blood of Jesus. Everybody say, I want the cup of blessing. You don't sound convincing at me, yeah? I want the cup of blessing. What do you want this month? I want the cup of blessing. After taking the bread and the wine, what do you need? I want the cup of blessing. Give yourself a big cup <laughs> Share it with the most precious blood of Jesus Christ. We want to drink from the cup of blessing, brothers and sisters. Life is hard. We are being threatened for so many things with a war in Ukraine. And with so many things like the petrol and the issues of prices going up and so many other things. Right now, we are being offered something from the very hand of Jesus, the cup of blessing. And I thank God you have tuned in today to 103.7. Because not only a cup of blessing you shall receive, you will also receive an overflowing cup of blessing. And in your hands we need to be blessed, brothers and sisters. There's so many cancers moving around. There's so many witchcraft that are disturbing us. There's so many illnesses. And now our children are having their exams for the second time. I assure you, brothers and sisters, with my hands open and with my eyes closed, with your ears very much attentive, your children are going to be blessed through this mass as you have come here. The last one, I don't know if my choir wants it. Everybody say the cup of suffering. The cup of suffering. Say it for those who are already suffering. The cup of suffering. Those who have back pain. The cup of suffering. Those who have difficult people living with at home. The cup of suffering. Those who are having problems at work. The cup of suffering. When the boss entered the house and did not even greet you. The cup of suffering. 
in Matthew 26, verse 39, it says, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. It was the height of the suffering of Jesus. And he was asking, possibly, maybe, you can give it somewhere else, but not to me. But at the end, Jesus said, not my will, but yours. Everybody would be ready to jump and bring the cups of salvation. And somebody would even ask for a second time for the cup of blessing. But who wants the cup of suffering generation? Brothers and sisters, I only see that the keyboard is lifting his hand. Hmm. Brothers and sisters, we want suffering as well so that we can offer it for the conversion of sinners. Today, as you come for blessing, we shall give you the cup. And if I tell you, cup of suffering, I'm not going to give my gift. I just accept it. Whatever cup you receive today is what you get. Amen? Let us bow our heads. To the intercession of St. James, I pray that the cup of blessing, the cup of suffering, the cup of will continue to be part of your life today. That sitting at the right and the left shall be served for the Father to decide. But the cup of overflowing redemption shall come to you now. And may the Lord be with you.